Sir Sam Jonah, yep. in recent times, has spoken about a culture of silence. Yep. And you say that on the back of these thoughts that you've been sharing in the last few days, people the, have been calling you. Do you feel threatened? And death threats. Are you afraid for your life? No. You know what? I've enjoyed too much of life. I have had happiness, and I've had the lower version of happiness, which is pleasure. I've had plenty of it. Mm. I've eaten in some of the places that some of the people in political office are now seeking to dine in. You have nothing to lose. What have I got to lose? My children are great speakers. We go to battle in this day and age with speak, 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 and thought leadership. My son at 15 became the world's number one youth speaker through the Jack Peche program. The world's number one youth speaker at 15, right? My daughter at 14 became the top youth speaker in Kensington and Chelsea where the Prime Minister lives in England and Westminster where the Queen lives in England. Mm. They are thinkers. I don't force them to think like me. They think for themselves. But what the chief told me, he says, Kwesi, you have called kings, you have called chiefs, you have called great men, and you have called wise men like yourself. And you have asked us to bow before you and you have put kechre upon our head. They don't have that word in the English language. Mm -hmm. Because like I told you, culture is embedded in language. Mm. So you have wrapped a cloth to serve as relief and put it upon our heads. And you have carried us with messages that we may go out and share. And I said, Nana, Abakwa Semwedia Esumne, which is Nana, the statements you are making are beyond me. He says, Chrissy, do you know the professors and great men who are sharing your messages to me some from Kenya, some from Nigeria, some from South Africa. You have spoken for your nation, not just for Adansi and Adan, Asanti and Aibe and the North. You have spoken the thoughts that are in the minds and the sentiments that are in the hearts of the people. Right. And they believe you because they know you are neither MDC nor MPP, mm. even though you vote too. <clears throat> and, that, and that's an interesting twist. Of